there's sandwiches, there's Italian sandwiches, and then there's baked Italian sandwiches. Mamma mia, this is gonna be great. And by the way, if you're gonna buy ingredients for your Italian baked sandwich, why not come to a Little Italy? In fact, why not come to the largest Little Italy in the country, San Diego? Oh, I know, you're surprised by that. How can it be? Why isn't it Pittsburgh? Why isn't it New York? Well, guess what? It's San Diego, largest Little Italy in the country. We're not just a bunch of surfers. And for me, the one place to get my Italian sandwich ingredients is Mona Lisa. We love them. How are you? Good. So I'm gonna get a couple things. Uh, Capicolo, you have, I need a pound. Uh, some prosciutto. Well, let's go uh, one from Italy and the Parma. Maybe a half a pound of that. Maybe three quarters of a pound of the um, Capicolo. And what else is really good? The options are crazy. What's this guy? Let's do the regular soppressata. Let's see what a half a pound of each of these looks like. And I need something else. Provolone, uh, half a pound. And also two of those small delis of the Castel Vetrano olives, if I'm saying that right. It's like the world's longest fucking pan in. How do you eat that? One noodle and you're done for the week. No more pasta for a week, I'm done. Italian hot pepper spread too. This is the key. You can make your own, but when you can buy one this good here, why not? Here we are, we got our stuff. And by the way, just let me say that it seemed appropriate to uh, shoot in a uh, San Diego firefighter t-shirt. Fire and Rescue, Station 2, by the way, which is the Little Italy Station. But I digress. Here's what we got. Here's, here's the hot pepper spread that, if I can figure out how to open this thing up. And, mm, mm. look at the beautifulness here. Look at that. In the oil too. Yum. Little taste. You know, there are things in life you should definitely make your own. I can't imagine anything I could make would be better than that. Don't play games, just buy that. Just buy that. Okay, but we're moving on. So, here, this prosciutto. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. This is why you go to a great place to buy stuff like that. You could buy prosciutto anywhere, but it won't be that good. Sharp provolone. Soppressato. Oh. Do you see the shine? A little layer of fat, the greasy amazingness. Mmm. And the copa. The hot, spicy. Mm, okay, now we build. But we're gonna do this this way. On this beautiful roll. So I have a choice. You always have a choice in life. I could make the regular cut this way. But I like the idea of seeing it from the top in the pan when it's in the oven and everything's melted together. So let's go that way. Unless somebody here thinks it's a mistake. Let me consult my stylist. Stylist, no mistake, right? That can't be wrong. Fuck it, we're going with it. So here, we'll do this down the top. We'll come in here, we'll go. Oh, you can smell this great bread. And here's what we're gonna do. Like this. Or as they say in Italy, like this. Look at this one. I'm already probably breaking some 
Italian sandwich, some hot Italian sandwich rules. But should it really matter? Oh, I don't think so. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with our pepper spread. We're going to go mostly kind of here, along this way. Like that. Okay. Now you just stay like this, young man. Now, we can start with our meats and our cheeses. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this. We're going to do this in layers. So this is going to be the prosciutto layer. We're going to go all the way down like this. This is good. Okay, a little bit more here of the prosciutto. And prosciutto is just, is just the most delicate Italian ham. It's May, I mean, it's this, the flavors of it. If you haven't had it, it's, it's definitely something that you want to do. Now, we're going to try and do this. Bust this guy open. Do the same thing on this one. In you go, big boy. That's what I like to see. Okay. That's the prosciutto. Next, hello to the soppressato. It's an Italian dry salami. But you can see, clearly you can see, the really freaking significant fat content. And that is what this is all about. These guys are in here. And then same on this side. And then, mamma mia. And then the capicola. And this is a, it's a spiced pork shoulder. And you can see the, the fat in here too. Which, you know, what do we say, Max? Fat means flavor, baby. Fat means flavor, baby. That's exactly right. I think that people agree, considering how many if fat means flavor, <laughs> then I'm f***ing delicious shirts they buy. I want to shout out to the guy that requested a fat means flavor 2x. That, my friends, is committing. Okay, so next is the provolone. So I want to do like a channel. How's that? Provolone, provolone, down the middle. Okay, now let's do this. Now let's put a little bit more. That's where we're starting. Look how beautiful that is. Wait till we see this thing all melted up. Now I think we need a little bit more of the Italian pepper spread on this side. Just a little bit, right? Up here. And on this guy. Right up here. Okay. There's what we got. Okay. Now what you do, you open this guy back up so it's beautiful. And then you come down here, you get a baking dish. You put the baking dish down. Put these guys in here, like this. Perfect. Mamma mia. These guys go in the oven at 350. 10 to 15 minutes until melted. Okay, 10 to 15 minutes until the bread starts to get uh, crispy on the outside. The cheese, the provolone in the middle starts to melt. The, the copa and the soppressato and the, the prosciutto are all doing their amazing uh, stuff inside and starting to, uh, the fats melting and the pieces and little layers are coming together. And then there's the, the, the pepper spread. Oh, mamma mia. I don't know if Italians say mamma mia, but it felt like something that I needed to say right then. Right then. I don't think I ever heard Tony Soprano say that. Tony Soprano didn't say mamma mia? No, I don't think so. It's you. So if you want to have a quick look part of the way through, look what it's doing. You've got the different layers. Oh boy, the bread is starting to get crispy. Oh boy. And while we wait, we got something in the mail the other day. Can I share it? Yeah. Ready? Oh God, I don't want to drop it. It's our one million subscriber plaque from YouTube. And when I say YouTube, I mean literally YouTube because it's you guys that made this happen for us. 
Oh, I can see myself. Can you see yourself? <laughs> I was going to say. I can see my hand. <laughs> Angle it up a little bit and you can see me. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, everybody. We love you guys. Honestly. Uh, look, I, I say it uh, often at the end of episodes. This is because you guys are there watching, subscribing, hitting the notification bell. And speaking of subscribing and hitting the notification bell, we promise to do something fun when we hit a million. We haven't finalized the details, but we will be bringing two of you to San Diego from uh, wherever it works out from to hang out with us, to be here to shoot, to come to Not Not Tacos, to have Max do a series of portraits for you. I'm only kidding. Uh, but just to come, it's our way of saying thank you. And there's a second part to that that we haven't gotten to yet, but you need to be a subscriber, have your notifications on to be in the running for this, and we'll let you know when that happens. But we're anxious to have uh, a couple of you here. Not to, no. I think these things are ready. <laughs> Shall we get them? And here we go. And holy crap. Look at those. Maxwell, look at those. Damn. Crispy. Mmm, I want a bite. Please, please. Hi, guys. Look at that. Look at that. All right, well, let's get one out. But I've got a suggestion. And I hope nobody thinks this is sacrilegious. But we got the YouTube plaque for food, for a food show. Should it not be used for food? It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> there it is. That's what we need to do. Make a plastic one of these and have it stuck on the outside. To recap, in case you missed it, you just tuned in. Uh, yes, this is a Italian sandwich baked on our 1 million subscriber YouTube plaque. But in this sandwich, is the hot Italian pepper spread, that's fantastic, the capicolo, the soppressato, the prosciutto, and the sharp provolone cheese that's uh, running down the channel in the middle. It's that crazy shot, man. Time for a bite? Can I have a bite? Please, can I have a fucking bite? Please, can I have a bite? I can see all of you. Please, can I have a bite? Please. Please. Okay, so the proper thing to do would be Respectfully move the baked Italian sandwich on the plaque off to the side. Get this gorgeous, gorgeous thing here. Give it a cut so we can have a bite. I like the crisp. The crisp is gorgeous. Now, this is what I like. Prosciutto, soppressato, capicolo, the cheese. Come on, let's have a bite. Hear that? That's what you want, you want that crunch. So good. So good. There's a natural spice from the meats. The extra from the pepper spread. The whole thing is just a freaking dream. It's chewy, it's crisp, it's fatty, it's warm. And it's freaking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for the plaque. If we're really cool, we would send this plaque to spend a couple of days at everybody's house. <laughs> Who's done that? We should do that. Let me think about those logistics for a second. Maybe we'll come up with another idea. We'll be done in two million days. <laughs> we'll be done in two million days. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. Make this, go to a good uh, Italian store. The good meats, the good bread, the good cheeses. Good ingredients, give you stuff like this in there. Yeah.